Hey guys, welcome. I'm Mike Redmond. I'm here to answer one of the most uh, popular questions that I get probably all the time. And, and I get th this question from a lot of people looking to get into and looking to advance their uh, their career as a cybersecurity analyst. So what I'm going to do is we're going to be together for about the next 10 minutes or so. I'm going to walk you through what you need to know to become a cybersecurity analyst. So I'm going to we're going to talk about some of the education requirements. We'll talk about some of the certification requirements and what to expect from different roles within the realm that we call cybersecurity analysts. First, a little bit about me. Uh, as I told you, my name is Mike Redman. I have a master's degree in cybersecurity, a bachelor's in network engineering with over 14 years of information and risk management uh, directorate uh, experience. I, I've done this for quite a long time. Uh, I'm currently the corporate cybersecurity director for a large DoD contractor, and I've been doing instruction and consulting full time now uh, for about five years or so. Uh, some of the certifications I, I hold is you know things like the CISSP, CISM, CISA, uh, CCNA, Certified Ethical Hacker, and a handful of some of the CompTIA certifications. So the first thing we need to do is answer the basic challenge. What is the challenge in today's world? Well, pretty much it's the fact that corporations and organizations cannot keep up with the growing sophistication and frequency of cybersecurity attacks. So they rely on professionals to understand what are the best practices, as well as to be able to secure the company's own digital assets. So what is a cybersecurity analyst? What we do is play a vital role in preserving the security and integrity of an organization's data within the organization. It's more than just bits and bytes, it's how all of it comes together. We must know everything when it comes to information security, and that is a wide breadth and depth of understanding. So in the last few years, what has happened is you've seen kind of a divergence into three primary job functions when it comes to cybersecurity analysts. We break those out into application security analysts, data security analysts, and security compliance analysts. So let's start with an application security analyst. What do they do? Well, what they're doing is they take a closer and constant look at examining the security of systems and web applications. They are the ones that do all the vulnerability scanning and the penetration testing when it comes to the applications that an organization is either using or developing. So what does it take to do this job? Well, it takes at least a bachelor's degree, generally. Um, there are some exceptions, and remember, every, all of these are going to have some exceptions to things, but in general, it's going to take at least a bachelor's degree in computing science, engineering, some mathematics, or any other computer-related field. And also being familiar with the threat detection, threat analyst, and protection of the OWASP security standards. Those are the hallmark of what application security analysts do. When it comes to certification, well, it all starts with the CISC, one more guy, the CSSLP, the Certified Secure Cyber Life Cycle Professional. I don't know why I can't get that out today. Um, uh, this is one of the certifications that is most sought after, especially when it comes to the entry level uh, and, and mid level of uh, the application security analyst. And then you'll you know usually layer on top of that the certified application security engineer or the case, 
which goes deeper into how uh, how the, the methodologies are used and what are some of those best practices that should be uh, incorporated across the secure uh, software development lifecycle. Uh, when it comes to how much they get paid, well, you know, quite a bit, you know, to, uh, believe it or not, especially uh, at the entry level when you compare it to other positions uh, out in the job market that also uh, require a bachelor's degree. So in, in general, there starts somewhere around seventy-one to seventy seven thousand dollars per year now remember that's just starting uh, you capture an MBA or some other type of master's degree now you can jump yourself up to 91 or more thousand uh, dollars a year so next let's talk about a data security analyst what do data security analysts do uh, first and foremost they are the ones that keep the information stored on the information systems enterprise-wide. It is the data security analysts are the ones that we rely on, uh, mostly doing the consulting or managing the depository of credit information or personal information, uh, as well as the overall design and architecture of information systems across the enterprise. So when it comes to a data security analyst, again, you're looking at a bachelor's degree generally um, uh, at minimum. And, you know, it is, however, uh, one of those fields that they really do like to see that you have a master's degree, uh, often in business administration because of some of um, the interfaces that you'll have, the people you'll need to be able to communicate with at that particular level. When it comes to certifications, Certifications are, again, one of those things that are going to help you advance through the base understanding uh, or that base uh, salary uh, of an entry level person. Uh, within the cybersecurity field, uh, a lot of the hiring is absolutely dependent on not only your education, but the fact that you have real world experience and the certification to back it up. That kind of lets you know, gives you a little peek or an insight into what is coveted most within this uh, field and what is coveted maybe a little less. Uh, so what are those cer certification requirements? So um, here are some of the most popular ones that you see being asked for in today's job market. Things like the uh, CEH, or Certified Ethical Hacker, the CISMs, the Certified Information Security Manager, the CISSP, the Certified Information System Security Professional, and of course, the staple, the foundation, the CompTIA Security Plus. Now, what does all this work get you? Well, when it comes to a data security analyst, what you're looking for, what you're looking at is with these certifications, an average salary at your uh, high entry or high entry level or mid level around $118,000. Now, at the absolute entry level, maybe without the certifications to start or a lot of experience, you'll be looking somewhere between fifty and sixty-seven thousand uh, dollars. And then, once you hit that median salary, uh, if you have not collected the certifications that uh, that I'm recommending, you know, you'll probably enter right around that ninety thousand dollar a year range. Lastly, we have the security compliance analyst. So what security compliance analysts do is they make sure that the organization uniformly uh, conforms with all required legal regulations. Things like HIPAA and, and FISMA and GDPR and SOX and Graham Leach Bliley, and you, the list kind of keeps going on. So that gives you an understanding of exactly how important this job is, especially to corporate executives. These individuals usually work um, as the supervisor, usually where you will find security uh, compliance analysts being the CISO or the CISO uh, reporting directly to the CEO. Uh, these are very important positions because after all, we as cybersecurity analysts and cybersecurity professionals, our primary job is simply to keep the boss out of jail. And that all starts with maintaining the overall compliance for the organization.
The security compliance analyst also is responsible for the creation of many of the policies and procedures and standards across the organization, as well as ensuring that uh, training is being done and, and, and developing a, a robust response plan to ensure, for instance, timely uh, resumption after a serious uh, disruption. And then maintaining and uh, the the uh, overall risk analysis or risk profile for the organization uh, and doing that by executing the gap analysis for the organization to let them know exactly where their overall risk lies. Now, what does it take to make it to this position? At least a bachelor's degree. Uh, generally, that is not enough to start with this position because remember, you're generally reporting directly to the corporate executives. So you'll want to you'll, you'll want to collect some uh, real world experience along the way. Uh, for instance, while you're in college, uh, to be able to put on your resume to make sure that the executives know not only do you have the book knowledge to get it done, but also the real world knowledge to get it done. Uh, to succeed in this field, you'll need excellent communication and writing skills. Again, it's all about how do you interface with the corporate executive and at least three years of industry specific experience. If you're going into the medical field, you should get experience into that industry. Uh, if you're going into, uh, you know, chemical, chemical plants or, or, um, uh, you know, possibly uh, just a, a, a large corporate organization, something like Best Buy or Google or something like that, you'll want to try to gain as much experience in that particular industry as you possibly can. And of course, you must be able to have demonstrated strong problem solving and decision making skills. Uh, what are the certification requirements when it comes to the security compliance analyst? Well, in general, uh, you need to do as much studying uh, certificates as well as certifications. All they're going to do is help you land the job. The most popular for this particular field is the CISM, or the Certified Information Security Manager as well as the CISSP, the Certified Information Systems Security Professional, and the CISA, the Certified Information Security Auditor. What does, that all, what does all that hard work get you? Well, in general, you'll probably enter the field in somewhere around the $70,000 a year range, where at the higher end of entry level or mid level, you can expect to hit right around uh, 93 or so thousand dollars a year. Uh, now you collect those certifications either up front or along the way, you can turn that 90,000 into 110 very, very quickly. So that gives you all the ins and outs of what you'll need to do to prepare yourself to become a security analyst. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to do any one of these. Any of them are an outstanding field to be in. As a matter of fact, myself, I have traveled through all three of these particular job fields and loved every single one of them. So don't feel like you're locked in to one. Try your, try your toes in, in each of the waters and see how it comes out. All right? Well, I'm about out of time for this one. Next time, we'll get together and discuss what you have most requested next. Until then, I'll see you.